You are in for a treat in this video. We are going to go over, or we're going to review the Kanalea Custom. Game over. <laughs> Game over. Custom tenor. This one has Western Cedar. Hmm. Check this out. Champion English walnut size and back with a sound port and a scoop. Come on, get out of town. You are not going to want to miss this video. That's it. Just a little teaser. Don't want to give you too much yet. I want you to stick around for this video, but I do want to welcome you to You Crack the Pros. I'm Terry Carter, and I'm happy, I'm excited that not only you're here, but that this amazing custom instrument is available, store.ukulectopros.com, the number one ukulele store. So I want to give a big shout out to Kamana, the Kanalea team, for not only making such an extraordinary looking sounding instrument and something a little different. Some wood combinations you don't typically associate with Hawaiian made instruments, but also the thinking of me and letting it come out here to sunny San Diego so I can do this video for you and then put it up at store.youclickthepros.com. All right, you're in for a real treat. This is an amazing instrument. And by the way, I do have this spec sheet from <laughs> Kanalea as well that uh, will be included with this instrument when you get it at my store. <laughs> you, what is that? Store.youclickthepros.com. <laughs> you already knew that. But all right, are you ready? Let me do some playing. We're going to go over all the specs, everything you need to know to know that, yes, I need to add this to my collection. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I do have a mic here. I do have a mic down here. This is an acoustic instrument. If you want to add a pickup, we can totally do that at the store. All right. That was a piece that I wrote for a challenge that I had for all my premium members at ucorrectopose.com. And then I adapted it, kind of changed it. And it's also going to be in the new book I got coming out with Hal Leonard on the ukulele. So very, very cool kind of piece showing you how you can take some of those chords and move it up the neck. Did you notice as we moved up that intonation, how beautiful it was sounding? Oh my gosh, what do you think so far? I mean, come on, that, like, that should probably do it, right? <laughs> That's probably enough to convince you that you need this one. But anyway, just leave a comment below. That I'll take that for now and make sure to smash that like button. All right, shall we go over this? This, let's go over it. All right, we got solid Western cedar. Excuse me. Red cedar. <laughs> Western red cedar. Now, there are some things here that they don't do, them being kind of Leia on their, most of their ukuleles. So they kind of crammed them all in to this one. So besides the cedar, which is kind of unusual, but look at this. Okay, besides the abalone rosette, now, you have to look closely, but they actually have some red popular that goes along this rosette, which is absolutely stunning. They also, besides right here, this abalone purfling here, they also have the red, the real thin red line of popular that goes in there as well. So very, very cool. Um, and it reminds me, because we have, Kanalea and I teamed up for a Uke Like the Pros baritone, and we use that red popular for stuff in the... Uh, the headstock and also around the rosette. So very, very cool. And red is by far my favorite color. So absolutely stunning. They also continue that motif right here in the bridge pins as well on this ukulele. Now, it does have the scoop here. 
nice ebony scoop, as well as the armrest. I mean, like I said, you can when you get a custom from Conalea, you can add all these things, and it, it adds on you know a certain amount to the, the price of it. So you want a rosette, no problem. Adds a little price to it. You want a binding, no problem. Adds a little price. You want a bottom binding, no problem. Adds a little price. You want a scoop, no problem. We'll add a little price. You want an armrest, no problem. We'll add a little price. So. <laughs> Uh, it just, everything adds up. And so that's why I said they literally put all of it. They put all of it. Oh, you want a sound port? We can do that. It's going to add to the price. So, <laughs> which is cool that they have all those features. Now, so you have the scoop, you have the beautiful armrest here. It really makes this thing really comfortable. This is a tenor size. I think I mentioned that, but just in case I didn't mention it. All right. I should probably do some more playing, but let's just go over the, the woods here on the side. Beautiful, beautiful champion. Wow, champion English walnut. Nice. Just stunning. Stunning. Cool sound port. And by the way, that sound port has the red popular around it as well. And then look at the back. I mean, look at this back. Is this absolutely just stunning? It's kind of like, let me get that light out of there. It's kind of like, part of it has, like you've seen some mango wood like this, but I've never seen walnut that's like this. That's why it's a champion. English walnut. Absolutely stunning. And overall, just a sound. By the way, it has a low G on it. Mm, bravo, Conalea, for throwing a low G, wow, low G on this thing. Do you notice that? It's really crisp sounding. But I don't mean crisp in like the bad, trebly sound. I mean like clear. Like you hear those notes. And by the way, this thing has stayed in tune, even though I just got it in, I'm doing the video now, so like a rock. So many things to go over with this thing. All right, and I, and that's thing I mentioned it, but it doesn't get it in, the sound port right there, which I like. I'm becoming more of a fan of sound ports because it lets you, the player, to really hear more of the natural tone as opposed to it only coming out, the sound coming out of the sound hole. So I'm actually becoming a bigger fan of the sound port. What do you think of sound ports? I mean, they do look super cool, but they also help you as a player. Leave a comment below on what you think about that. All right, let me do a little playing, and then we're going to go over the rest of it, all what's going on up here and the dimensions and all that stuff. But I got to I gotta do some playing. Another, that's a piece from my fingerstyle mastery course, ukulelepros.com. In case you don't know that, the number one site to learn the ukulele. We have over 20 courses, including that's from my fingerstyle mastery course. Absolutely fantastic. And um, yeah, check that out, ukulelepros.com. We also got a fantastic premium membership. We got a bunch of free stuff over there too. So come on, just be a part of it if you want to join the Ukulele Pros Nation. Shall we move on? Let's move on. All right, as we move up the neck here, just... The satin here, the satin on this neck is just, it's like silk, right? So, and it, it just tapers down. And so when you get up here to the nut, it's just really a nice, thin, low profile nut here or width here of the neck. And then it goes to the nice slotted headstock. It's got the micro Godo tuners. I mean, those things are the smallest, lightest, really nice tuner as well. The ebony head plate as well. The Conalea logo. You got an inch and a half nut width, so plenty of room. Plenty of room for your hands. So plenty of room here. Now, a couple of things I've noticed with this. Hmm, I don't know if they've changed anything or if it's what they did, but to me, well, one, besides, I love the, usually it's Mother Pro. This looks like abalone. A lot of times they put Mother Pro. It looks like abalone. And then also here on the side. Um, ebony fretboard, in case I didn't mention that, and bridge. 
But what I really like about this, I feel like they use bigger frets on this. So the frets feel to me a little bit bigger. I mean, I, I go, I sell a lot of Conaleas. I play a lot of them. And so I, I feel a lot of them. They actually feel a little bigger than the normal Conalea frets. I'm not sure if that's true for this one, but it does feel like that. It feels really nice and easy. Really nice to play. So this is it. Like, this is not, like, you're not going to see, like, a whole bunch of that out there. Like, this is it. This is a custom ukulele here. They threw everything in here for you. It's absolutely fantastic. It's only available in one place, store.ukulelepros.com. And only right here am I going to provide a video like this for you to really hear and see this absolutely fantastic instrument. You get what you pay for, and trust me, everything you pay for this is going to be worth it. Let me do one more thing of playing before we get out of here. Uh, if you do get this, we offer full range of everything from advanced setups to strap buttons to pickups to everything you need to know. This does come with a kind of late case, although a lot of times I like to upgrade to a hard shell case because of shipping. <laughs> Make sure it's protected when it gets to you. But uh, anyway, we offer all of that at store.youclickthepros.com. Let me do one last piece and then we'll get on out of here. Mm, you know what's, come on now. There's no cutting when I go to that camera like that. So anyway, we're keeping it real here the best I can <laughs> here at youcollectthepros.com. So anyway, Conalea Custom Tenor, Western Red Cedar, Champion English Walnut, size and back, made in Hawaii, Conalea, over 25 years, 25 years making amazing instruments. Thank you again, Conalea. And this one, this could be yours. There's only one of them. Not this is not a line. We're not gonna have more. This is it. This is a one-off custom ukulele store. Like you click the pros.com. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching this. Getting to the end. I know that's a lot. I like to talk, especially when I get excited about a fantastic instrument. So anyway, all the comments, subscribing to the channel, all that kind of stuff, supporting me here at the store, at the Patreon page, everything. We do appreciate it. So have a good one. Take care. Be safe, and we'll see you in the next one.